I joined the Royal Naval Reserves because I studied my master's in conflict security and development. I spent a year learning about the impact of war, particularly on civilians and war-torn areas, and that really resonated with me. So I knew that I wanted to join an organisation that was part of the solution. I'm really looking forward to the courses that I've got coming up. I have my first development weekend in January, followed by marinization. Really looking forward to going on a boat finally. And after that, NMT 100 and hopefully my confirmation course in the next year. I joined the Royal Naval Reserves about a year and a half ago. My latest training course was at HMS Rally. It was very physical in a lot of ways, but as long as you go prepared, although it is demanding, it's absolutely achievable. do a 2.4k run uh, within a certain time. The time limit depends on your age. There's also a swim test which you have to do within a certain time limit and you're wearing a boiler suit which is quite fun. I did the assault course at HMS Rally which is famous. You're sort of crawling through muddy tunnels and stuff, feeling very military and you get into the military mindset down there and part of that is teamwork. We found that some people would be good at some aspects of the training, others would be good at other aspects and everyone helped each other out pull together as a team uh, and you really form good long-lasting friendships there. And I can honestly say it was two of the best weeks of my life. Two of my there, on ahead. on your right hand side about one after I've passed out, I'm really looking forward to take part in adventure training such as skiing, which is um, my second true passion in life. I am Sabre Massey and I joined the Royal Naval Reserve because I wanted to do something worthwhile and meaningful in my spare time. I'm AB Toby Osmond of the Royal Naval Reserve from HMS President. The r, &R is a voluntary organisation. We are made up from men and women, all walks of life.